in the afternoon. Uh, you can usually get it out about 1 or 2 p.m. I have to do a little bit of uh, cleaning and editing, and I usually chop off um, the introduction, so it's just the meat of the presentation for you in case you want to share uh, with any of your colleagues. We will be uploading it to YouTube with a uh, Creative Commons license, so feel free to share it at your company or with any other colleagues that you're working with. If you need an actual video of it on your local machine, just go ahead and shoot me an email and I can set up a download link for you. So let's get started today. So QDM is normally deployed in one of three levels. Today is our second uh, of the webinar series for QDM deployment. Today we're talking about a single plant or site and how to set up a solution at that location. The last one uh, in the first of our webinar series was in April, and we focused on a single inspection lab or work cell level. Today connects inspection labs together with other departments within a plant in order to deliver decision-making information. Our next webinar will be at the enterprise level, which will be coming up next month, and we'll talk about connecting different plant sites as well as other office sites together using dashboards and using plant solution setups in order to create a global enterprise solution. So stay tuned. Uh, so stay tuned. That should be coming up about June 18th. Our June uh, newsletter will tell you if there's any changes to that date. Uh, but right now we're looking at June 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also will be starting the 3DCS webinar series in July, if you're familiar with 3DCS. We're excited about a new version coming up this year. We're going to be doing an entire series on that version, on some of the changes, some of the new features. The very first set series will be an overview of the new version. The following webinars will talk about specific uh, tools and features in the new version and updates to existing features, tools, and add-ons. The best way to keep tabs on when those are happening is to join our newsletter you can go to www.3dcs.com to the Contact Us tab and hit Join DCS Newsletter, where you can join our newsletter, which we'll send just once per month to keep you informed on latest articles, events, and, of course, our webinar series. Throughout this presentation, feel free to ask questions. We actually have uh, quite a team put together for you today. So the uh, presentation is going to be moved from computer to computer. I'll go over that more in a minute. So as it's being moved or as we're talking about different tools and different solutions, feel free to post your questions in the questions tab or to, to go ahead and put comments out to the audience using the chat log. As you send those questions in, I'll do my best to either answer them as you propose or, uh, as you'll see in the agenda on the next slide, we have some time set aside at the end to go over any questions we didn't get to during the presentation. Today's agenda is actually pretty simple. I have a brief company introduction. Um, looking at the attendees that we have here today, most of you, uh, it looks like, are fairly familiar with us and, and what DCS does. So I won't spend much time on the introduction so we can get straight into a system overview and walk through an example of the plant solution. The example is going to include the actual modules themselves, um, which we have on a couple different machines here being used by our tech team. So we'll be moving the presentation from computer to computer a few times just so we can show you the actual modules that are being used as part of the plant solution. So it's not just an overview. It's going to be the actual tools themselves as well. And like I mentioned at the end, we'll have some, a couple minutes for the question and answer. So please stick around and uh, bring your questions with you. All in all today, we're looking at about 45 minutes total with a couple minutes at the end for people who want to stay after if there are additional questions. Of course, we'll take our time to uh, answer all the questions you have and walk through any other, um, any other uh, details on the products that you might want to see. Our presenters today, we have Chris Peterbaugh, our QDM project coordinator, who will be the primary presenter. He's being supported today by two of our tech team, Tegu Vivek, our QDM project manager, and Oliver Gladius, our application engineer for the QDM team. So we have a bit of a, we have a quite a team assembled for you. 
Uh, I think you'll enjoy this very much. So just spending one or two minutes real quick, an introduction on who DCS is. In brief, we're a manufacturing quality assurance company. Our goal is to identify and reduce variation. We do that in a number of different ways. Say we'll be talking about our QDM product suite, which is more of a reactive method in the manufacturing site itself that collects data and keeps you informed in real time of how your quality processes are performing. Uh, we also have a 3 dcs suite, which is in the design side and allows you to optimize your designs in a CAD-based environment. We're involved in a number of different industries. You can see, you know, aerospace, automotive, um, electronics. I'm not going to go through them all, um, but our primary focus is aerospace and automotive, where our roots are set. We provide both software and services. So we provide the software, deployment, and we also do modeling and optimization services. We've been around since 1994, and uh, we're excited to be showcasing today's QDM products. At this time, I'll be passing it over to Chris Peterbach, who's going to start you off on a system overview. Chris, if you want to say hello. Hello, everyone. We're going to start you off here with a plant floor view. Well, oh, there, we go. <laughs> there it is. There we go. All right. So let's get started here. So we're just going to touch base as Ben specified. We're going to talk about the plant floor and talk about the different areas, the different cells of the plant floor. So moving forward here a little bit, the plant floor. Here is a kind of a generic view of a plant floor. Um, I'm going to go through it here a little bit. Um, starting at the plant floor, the first thing that's going to really happen uh, in most cases here is the incoming inspection. Uh, this is where unfinished parts are going to come in, whether it's blank, raw steel. Um, this is usually coming you know, from a supplier, vendor. Um, we're going to be doing quality check, maybe a visual check. Um, for this webinar, we're going to use gears as our example. Um, so moving on here, the next area of the plant floor is the manufacturing cell. Uh, this is kind of where the individual parts are made, uh, machined with a, maybe a CNC lathe or mill, holes are drilled, um, sizes are, are met, um, just kind of to meet the drawings. And moving forward here, the next one we have is the assembly cell. Is this is where the quality checks happen. Uh, maybe we're going to check the height, the width, the length, or alignment of the product. Um, also, we're verifying that the assembly meets the print specifications. Uh, moving along here, we have the final quality assurance. Uh, these are the final parts, kind of an end of line quality check. Um, we can have an overall display, uh, pass fail, you know, kind of the gate. And it's really a generalized view of all the products and uh, it's the current health of the product at hand. Uh, moving forward here, we have the quality lab. Um, this is kind of where they do some of the sampling. Maybe they're checking every 10 parts, every 100, uh, just kind of based on the total production quantity. Um, this is where data starts to get collected here as well. Uh, the next department we have here is the quality engineering department. Um, this is where the data is tracked and monitored in real time. Uh, moving along, we have the manufacturing process engineering department. So again, this is kind of where the plant data is analyzed, uh, maybe a little root cause, problem solving. Uh, quality can get monitored here, and we can also check the impact of any kind of uh, machine improvements or changes. Um, also, we have the management supervisors. Uh, this is where we're going to talk about uh, the role, the benefit that the management supervisors have uh, here at the plant floor. Um, so moving forward here, we also have the central server. And this is also a very important, um, kind of an important area of the whole presentation. So digging in a little bit, once again, here's our generic plant floor layout. All right, so digging into incoming inspection. 
So incoming inspection kind of specifies this is where the blanks, the raw steel is coming in. Um, the unfinished part. So what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce you to the QBM data entry portal. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it over here and go ahead and be able to show you an example. Okay, so now we are looking at an example of a data entry portal. Um, we are we chose uh, an example of a plant floor where um, raw blanks come in, and which are machined into gears, and in the in the manufacturing cells, and in the assembly line, these gears are put together into a little gearbox, and that's what gets shipped out of the out of the plant floor. So. To keep that example generic so we can create a storyboard and, and walk you through the different tools that the quality touch points that happen on the plant floor, um, we were starting at the incoming inspection of raw blanks coming in. Uh, what, what a data entry portal is, is, an, is a tool that has the ability to track the information or the key characteristics of the incoming parts that's coming uh, from the shipment that are going to be sent to the processing. So in this particular case, we have set up a data entry portal where blanks are coming in and the operator is measuring the width and the diameter and uh, giving it a, a, an ID. So thereby, it, it allows the, the rest of the system for uh, traceability and root causing uh, based on each blank that's been used for the gear manufacturing process. So um, what I would like to highlight is these uh, data entry portals are self-configurable, um, easy to configure, and I would like to highlight the point that it is graphical in nature and not just text-based data entry uh, portals. The system also allows you to kind of walk you through the, the operator on what data that needs to be measured. Um, first, I am going to type in uh, product ID. Um, and uh, now the system's prompting me with a leader line showing where the measurement need to happen for the blank diameter. Um, let's say the operator measures and says it's 10.89. Uh, and um, now the, now the uh, system's prompting the operator for the width of this particular blank 1046, um, say 9.8. Now this data is sent to the database and the system automatically updated the two values on the chart, making it a live data entry portal. It also recalculated all the statistics based on the, uh, uh, based on the data that's entered. So the operator at the incoming station always has a clear view of what's coming in and what is the statistics and the pass-fail criteria of the blocks that are being passed through the system. Um, we are going to see examples of the same data entry portal at multiple stations um, as, as the blank progresses through the plant floor, but uh, you will see the graphical nature of it changes because each station requires a different data entry uh, portal configuration. So now we pass it back to Chris going to the next station in the plant floor. All right, so thanks for that. Moving on here, the next cell that we have is going to be our manufacturing cell. Um, I specify this is kind of where the individual parts are made. Uh, maybe this is where we're going to turn the raw steel, uh, do some milling, do some grinding, uh, drill the holes. Uh, again, we're just attempting to meet the print at this level. And this is where we're going to introduce you to the QDM satellite station. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at an example there. So we are going to talk about um, waiting for the control to be passed back to me. Okay, 
showing my screen. Okay. So now we are at the data entry portal of the uh, of the gear station, one of the manufacturing cells. So here again, the, uh, at each one of the cells, there are some key criteria that are tracked, and the system offers the same level of uh, walkthrough that's required—a graphical walkthrough to prompt the user to enter the values as required. Um, so I am I'm entering these values as the prompt moves from one chart to the other, as you can see, and uh, measuring those uh, locations that need to be measured and that particular cell. Um, Now, the system registered the information with the job sequence number for that particular part from this manufacturing cell and sent that to the central database, and it updated the, the screen uh, on the pass-fail criteria for that particular cell, for that particular features that are measured in that cell. Uh, this, just as a side note, whatever is being captured is now available for the entire plant floor to see, and we will talk about them as we move forward to satellite stations and other uh, sections of the department. Now I transfer the, uh, now we're done with the manufacturing cells. Now I transfer the control back to um, the, the plant floor. Yes, so to move forward from the manufacturing cells, we looked at the satellite station and the data entry portal. Um, back to the plant floor here, the next area we're gonna take a look at is the assembly cell. This is where the gears are being put together. Uh, we're verifying the overall length is met, overall height, width, alignment, uh, making sure holes are aligning. Just, it's an overall quality check. Um, and we're once again going to talk about the QDM data entry portal. And we're going to see how that's used um, next. Okay, so now I am at the same data entry portal, but this is configured for the data entry at the assembly part, because here you may or may not be, may or may not be measuring dimensional attributes. Here you might be measuring the, the torque on the, on the component. So I am, now it's asking me what's the torque on the final assembly on the right, right hand side. And um, let me enter the torque on the right hand side. And now it's prompting me to enter the torque on the left hand side and whatever tool that I have at my disposal there to measure, measure the torque, we use that and measure that and that information is entered. Um, so as soon as that information is entered, sent to the database and it refreshes the screen with the latest information, including updating of the statistics. Um, we, we, are, we have looked at three different layers of data entry portal, but what we wanna highlight here is it is the same concept, but you would see that all three of them have their own configurable interface, which is very easy for the user to configure, and the graphical nature of the of the data entry portals, allowing the user to uh, to walk through the part uh, in a graphical way and uh, uh, um, and and run through the system. Okay, so now I'm going to pass the control back to. Um, to the plant floor. All right, so that was a quick example of your assembly level. If you look back at the plant floor, the next area we're gonna concentrate is final quality assurance. Um, we're gonna talk about the QBM satellite station here in a moment, but just a quick overview on the final quality assurance. It's kind of a final parts, end of line quality. It's a generalized view of all parts and assembly. This is where anyone can walk by, see how each individual part's doing, see how the assembly, and just see how the current health of the full product is doing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at, at that example next. If you can't tell, that's a, that's a monitor. <laughs> that's what the image is of. It's a, a, a monitor screen at the plant floor. So you can set up different monitors at the plant floor to display that information based on where you are within the plant itself. So, so now the, we're looking at uh, a monitor in the shop floor line. Um, maybe, maybe it's a display like right next to a machine or up on the, on, on the ceiling 
where it, it can really show uh, overall health of the of the different different departments, but a live feed from each one of the departments updating these charts and graphs with visual uh, color coded alerts as well as um, email uh, email and trend alerts sent to the respective um, uh, respective engineers in in charge for these different parts. So this. Uh, this can be again configured based on your needs on multiple windows, but again, we would like to highlight the, the fact that the graphical nature of it, uh, whereas just charts and graphs can only um, tell you half the story. But with, with the uh, complete graphical satellite station, it's very easy for somebody to make quick decisions and uh, uh, be very proactive on quality issues. Um, Again, these can be set up anywhere within the state, within the multiple locations within the uh, plant. We did see an example of this at the, at the manufacturing cells. We could set up a similar one just to uh, accumulate, accumulate all the data from the assembly cells and set up a satellite station and one at the final inspection, inspection level. So uh, across the plant, these can be set up at multiple locations highlighting the, the measurements that were taken at that particular or in that vicinity of, uh, of, of the departments or areas that's in the plant flow. Um, so now with that, we will transfer back to, so now these are all the different data collection points that we looked at. Um, now we're going to go a little bit deeper into the consuming of this data um, within a plant flow. So that was a little bit about the final quality assurance. Next up, so moving along the plant floor here, we have the quality lab. The quality lab is where the sampling is done, uh, as mentioned. Um, could be every 10 parts, every 1,000 parts. It all depends on the total production quantity. Uh, this is where we're going to have a data collection. We're going to take checks of the features and this is where the QDM analyst tool will be very beneficial. And we're going to go ahead and show you a quick example of that next. So QDM analyst is a standalone tool that's used in the quality inspection labs with high level of configurability and ability to create graphical reports uh, very, very quickly and um, easily. So let me show you uh, if, if we do it in this particular example, let's say 30 pieces of the gear blanks are measured at the quality inspection lab for all the details and dimensional aspects of that particular part, how quickly we can generate a report from the CMM or the inspection data outputs is what I'm going to demonstrate here is uh, I'm going to use the system to create a, a use the wizard interface and uh, load in some uh, graphics, um, load in 30-piece uh, uh, measurement data, and now I'm telling the system what type of chart I want. Let's say I would like to see a trend information, so I choose from my master list of charts, trend charts. I would like to merge the charts based on nominal so I can see things that are measured in the same location automatically grouped together. This allows me an automatic grouping capability. And I'm going to allow the system to automatically sort the data and create a multi-page report uh, because there could be multiple dimensions that are measured and it will be very difficult to put all of them in one page. I'd like the system to generate a multi-page report. And also, I don't want to spend too much time uh, laying out the report. I'd like to ergonomically place these charts. So just by clicking these seven buttons, the system can automatically put together a report for these 30 parts that are measured, which are graphical in nature with the, uh, with the, with the locations, um, starting with an index page, followed by n number of chart pages. I'm kind of walking through the pages. So those are the holes on the, the left side. Uh, those are the three holes in the middle, and those are the two holes on the right side. The system very, very quickly, within a matter of seconds, was able to create a graphical report for the um, for the 30 piece measurement of this gear uh, gear measurement. Um, 
and it is very interactive and live because we we are we're operating in this particular case with 3D CAD and even if it's 2D CAD it's very interactive but in this particular case it, it it's all uh, a live interaction with 3D CAD that we are we're creating these reports with that allows you to customize I'm showing you the different ways that you can customize the report um, with multiple chart types and multiple uh, ways of laying out your report uh, and creating a full professional decision-making report in a matter of seconds uh, using this tool at the quality inspection lab. Sometimes the day and once once uh, the CMM lab would like to publish this for the end, the rest of the plant floor, they can. Uh, use this tool to upload this template to the web interface by doing a, a save as web option that will take this information and publish it up to the rest of the plant floor. Now this report's available to everybody in the plant floor via a QDM web client interface. And we will talk about that next. Second, let me control back. Okay. All right. So that right there was a little example of the QDM analyst and how quick, how easy, and how flexible the templates can be built. Uh, moving along here, <clears throat> the next department we're going to talk about is our quality engineering department. This is the department here where they're going to be able to track the data, monitor the data, uh, have real-time checks. Um, this is where we could even have subdivisions checked, where certain people are in charge of certain aspects of the assembly. Um, you know, one person can take a look at the sprocket itself. Next person can monitor the assembly itself. And this is a tool that really just keeps the individual departments aware of what's going on at the plant floor. And this is where I uh, mentioned uh, a moment ago the QDM web client. Uh, is the main value here, and it's a very powerful tool, and we're going to actually see that one here next. Okay. So since all the data is since all the data is uploaded to a central server, this allows for a plant-wide view of all the data and reports using this tool called QDM Web. It's basically a, a, a client, a web client. All you need is an internet browser to to log in. And once you log in, you would be uh, being the plant or the comp plant floor is manufacturing multiple parts. It will allow you to selectively drill down and navigate to the program, uh, to the, the part that has been ma made, and the inspection program that you are you would like to see the result for, and uh, very quickly generate. Look at the database. There are 103 samples for this part. I'd like to take the last uh, the 25 parts and uh, create a report for using the web client interface, where it can put together a real-time report, a graphical report for the the gear station with the last 25 samples and provide a, 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 a statistical report, color-coded pass-fail report for, the, uh, for that particular item that you, you queried the system for. So the web interface allows you to navigate and drill down and query and create reports for all the parts that are measured in your plant floor, providing you with a graphical view of the reports. So this tool could be used as, as quality engineering departments are in charge for, for certain sections or certain components of the, of the parts that are man, manufactured in the plant floor. The system is fully configurable, so you can set up your own favorites on what you are, what you are in charge for and constantly keep monitoring them. And is this being a zero client or a very thin client architecture, meaning there is no software required to see these reports, you can, all you need is an internet browser. It allows you to, um, to launch this from any device, any PC in your organization, including 
a tablet or an or, or a smartphone okay so now i uh, pass the control back now we go back to the shop floor and look at the next department So that was a little bit about the QDM web client um, at the quality engineering department level. Our next level here, as we move on, is the manufacturing process engineering department. This is where they're going to analyze the plant data that they've just seen. Uh, this is all in real time. And what they can do here is also monitor the quality, check the impact of any improvements, do a root cause, and problem solve. So this is the, the tool that's very useful for these for this department is the QDM PDA, and we're going to go ahead and look at an example of the QDM PDA. So the QDM PDA, which stands for Plant Data Analysis, allows for the engineering team to to root cause and problem solve from a process improvement standpoint within, within the plant floor for quality improvements. The quality engineering, which are primarily focused on day-to-day -day operations and making sure all their plants, uh, all their uh, cells and manufacturing locations within the plants are, are running uh, up to the quality levels. The, the engineering department are focused on long-term improvements and uh, how uh, uh, resolving any chronic issues within the plant floor or within within the data that's coming from the plant floor so they can uh, overall improve the quality of the process by process optimization and design optimization so this is a standalone tool that's a lot that's available as a part of the QDM suite of products QDM PDA in this particular case I am going to uh, um, do uh, uh, let's say a detailed analysis of this project that I can load in large volumes of data into the system. So I just loaded 100 samples of the of a, of, of the gear blank um, or the gear measurements from coming from the manufacturing cell, and uh, the system allows to very quickly uh, show me a Pareto analysis of of the part, quickly highlighting what is the feature that's causing the highest variation or has been uh, repeatedly causing the highest variation. It's a very heavy math-based tool which runs multiple mathematical algorithms to, to kind of uh, interpret and uh, show uh, the key, key uh, features that are affecting the quality. So in this particular case, it highlighted to me that H of X, um, HX is the feature that's causing, that's having the highest variation um, and as a, as, a, as a root causing team, we would like to know more about it. So then now you can go into, uh, uh, just double click on it and it tells me a detailed view of each one of these, uh, of that particular feature, HFX. And now I'm looking at each one of the features that failed and uh, by looking at the, uh, the, the trend that's going on, everything seemed to be in spec up to a certain point and from a certain point, there seem to be some of these uh, uh, fail failure modes are starting to occur. Um, as an engineer, I'd like to know uh, when this happened and what is the significance of before and after. So I'm really quickly going to split this HX measurement into a before-after scenario. So I'm going to take up to the tool change date as the before date, and after the tool change date, um, after the tool change date as the after date and uh, just split that uh, measurement into two sections. Now I'm getting a split view on the top based on subset one which is the before my tool change and uh, subset two which is after my tool change and look at the statistics and look at there is a drop in, in, the, in the capability um, starting on that date. So maybe now we can attribute it to the tool change that happened on that particular date as the cost. So a system, it's more of a, of, a, uh, of a deep dive into the data to understand, 
but the toolbox has got multiple capabilities and multiple tools within the system to to kind of take a deeper look at it and problem solve uh, for all the plant based issues so now I am going to uh, uh, there could be uh, there are multiple tools in this I don't want to go into each one of them I just wanted to show you within a plant floor this is the toolbox that's used in the in the engineering area uh, where to root cost and and to see um, to, to gain overall process improvement uh, just to show one more tool in this toolbox is this uh, correlation analysis it allows you to correlate between the features and tell you um, if how one set of features are correlated to another set of features is is there correlation between the data that's coming uh, uh, the incoming blank failures to the gear failures and uh, the system provides you a mathematical analysis but also you can kind of I, I do see a high correlation on this uh, B of Y to C of Y and by double clicking on it it now sh shows me the the data correlation between the two and their uh, their statistics on it so these are could be a very very useful tool for Six Sigma black belt or any type of quality engineering um, focus groups that you have within your organization as a modular tool to to improve quality within your organization so uh, not getting too much into the different capabilities of this it's, it's, an, it's a very very powerful invaluable tool when you have plant based uh, data to be able to very quickly uh, find out where what your root causes or what your key contributors to your quality problem are so that you can directly go to them and fix those um, uh, and, and improve your quality uh, with, within a very short span of time um, so let me uh, now give the control back to um, um, to the plant floor so now we can go to the next area of the plant floor all right so that was a, a very good example here of how manufacturing process engineering department can use the QDM PDA tool so moving along here back to our plant floor the next aspect of the floor we're going to talk about is management supervisors um, the benefit for the management supervisors here um, we go forward here is the QDM dashboard um, it's kind of a tool that we will view our data anywhere anytime uh, it can be viewed from any device whether it's a PC tablet a smartphone it can be reviewed in real time um, really overall it, it's a it's an overall health check of the whole plant um, let's go ahead and take a quick little dive into the QDM dashboard So as a manager or a supervisor, you have access to this uh, tool anywhere within your plant uh, by using the QDM web uh, dashboard tool, where you could very quickly go in and view the data as a dashboard, um, where right now we are showing you one, uh, a plant just, just making one, supporting one program, a C4 program, which is making uh, gear assemblies. But if you are in a plant where there are you're supporting multiple customers, multiple product types, this dashboard can extend itself to provide you with a very global view of of the of the of the of the parts that are made at different stages by different uh, uh, areas of your part. So it gives you a very structured, intuitive drill down. I'm going to look at C4 program, which quickly tells me that there is a drop and these are updated on whatever frequency that is set up to maybe every few minutes to an hour or daily and comparing the the data between the this time and the previous instance of this maybe every hour was there a drop in the quality or were there an improvement in the quality and what is the improvement or the drop in the quality so in this particular place I do see there is a drop in quality of 0.6 percent um, between now and the last hour so as a manager, I'd like to delve deeper and look, uh, go further into and look at uh, the, the different components that's contributing to that 16% drop. So we're looking at the, the points in spec, and you do see that this particular 
uh, components, the incoming blank inspection line was having was uh, failing to pass all the parts that are coming through. So as a manager or as a quality engineer, now can be tasked to look at the data and let me look at all the 13 data and quickly create a report for that particular program. So now, I, now that I've identified the problem is in the incoming inspection, I'm creating a report for the incoming inspection and to look at where the problems are and uh, by looking at and drilling down further, I see the diameter is where the failures happen. And even in the diameter, that particular feature, the blank number 1008 was the problem, was the one that caused the problem. So intuitively sitting at your desktop on, on, at your office, you can, you can look at a high level report at a plant based, plant level, program level, and if there is any uh, any drop or in, drop in your quality at any one of these um, areas within your plant floor, you can dive deeper into each one of the areas to to go to all the way to a single blank that was created. So the system being in a plant floor level and data being collected at data entry portals that throughout different sections of the plant floor, including the quality lab with satellite station monitoring allows you a complete traceability for all the way to each one of your uh, uh, serial numbers of parts which failed. Uh, and centralizing everything allows you to give you a, a intuitive way to keep tab, proactively keep tab of your quality issues. So uh, so this is kind of a, a quick, quick <coughs> dive of the, of the quality uh, dashboards that can be sitting at the um, managers of the supervisors desktop which constantly keeps monitoring all the programs that are happening um, on the sh on the shop floor now I give control back to the the plant floor all right. so that was a quick overview of the QDM dashboard uh, again that's for management supervisors. And moving back to the plant floor here, we've kind of touched bases on all the different areas of the plant floor. Let's go through here. So we went along the plant floor here, kind of follow the workflow of a generic plant floor. Um, just taking a little dive into it. Um, a few things to note here of the plant floor in the QDM suite is we're virtually connected. Um, also, a few other notes here are the modularity of this plant floor. Uh, we don't need all of these different areas for, for QDM to work well. We can work with uh, only a few of these, or it's just a very modular system. Also, scalability. Um, this can be, this, these tools are beneficial to any size plant, whether it's one or two people to one or two thousand people. Um, also, when we touched on the, the quality lab here, the QDM analyst tool pointed out that it was a graphical tool. Um, the generic tool really doesn't have the 3D graphics, doesn't have the live interaction. Um, the graphical is very beneficial and has a key role in decision making and root cause analysis. So. That is our QDM plant floor solution. And now Thank we're you gonna, so much, Chris. We're going to go back to uh, back to Ben. I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave presenter right there for a moment um, while we go through some of these questions, so that way you can move it to to whoever would best address it. Um, I like here that you have it virtually connected because uh, what might not be noted here is you can see that server and every single one of those images and all of the data being collected or being put in is going to be centralized on that central server, which brings me to one of the, one of the questions that came up. Um, so if these cells are automatically collecting data and storing it, um, can that be used as well other than just the data entry portal? For example, um, at the assembly line, if there's like an automatic uh, data check or an automatic scan or some kind of automatic inspection, can that be used in addition or does it all have to be input into the, the data entry portals? No, the system can be used as efficiently with uh, 
uh, with with the automated data collection. Uh, at each one of these cells, uh, right now we showed you the data entry portals, but it can also be automated uh, data pulls is what we set up where we can constantly keep monitoring these manufacturing cells for data coming in and as soon as the measurement is completed that data will get pulled into the database so that it's available for the rest of the community and departments within the plant uh, for, for problem solving and updating of all the QDM um, graphical reports. Fantastic. So just to reiterate, um, we're going to be going through some questions right now. So I appreciate everyone's attendance and sticking around. Our next question, can you get email notification of trend changes and out of tolerance? Yes, the QDM web system is fully configured to support your, your email system. So as soon as uh, when you set up each one of these, uh, um, what we call an auto publishes or scheduled reports and monitoring stations, each one is set up with a trigger. And as soon as the tr and trigger can be set up with any statistic, and since the system is always uh, constantly calculating um, statistics on, uh, in, in a live mode, as soon as any one of the statistics fail or starting to trend into the, into the yellow region, it can send emails to the respective uh, engineers in charge for that. So that way they don't have to be constantly looking at the screens and uh, uh, things can be uh, sent uh, by alerts and notifications via email. So something's made a third shift, you know, late at night and it's trending out of spec, you know, it'll send you an email alert and uh, notify you. You don't have to be sitting at your computer all the time constantly hitting refresh. Fantastic. All right, let's go on to another question. Um, this kind of talks about something that Chris mentioned. Um, I have an assembly only plant. Do I need all these components to use uh, a QDM system? No, every company is different and every plant flow is different. So our tools are fully configurable and customizable to your needs. So, and this is what we kind of showed you with the data entry portals that uh, based on the tool, uh, we can set up any type of interface that's required that, that, that fits into your business process. And also the tool set itself, the QDM suite all has all these components, but it can work with one, two, or multiple of these components based on your needs. And I'd like to highlight, sometimes you might want to start with a data entry portal, a couple of data entry portals and a, and a, and a server, but eventually can be scaled up into satellite stations and dashboards and, um, and PDA uh, to, to add to the system to make it as your needs grow. So it's a fully scalable and modular solution. We have we have customers who are just using QDM analysts all the way to uh, a multi-plant global environment where all these components are in place. Fantastic, thank you, Tipu. Um, one more question. Um, can the design department use this collected data? Yeah, good question because um, the, when you look at quality improvements, uh, quality improvements can happen on a, on a daily monitoring and, and um, and, and making sure that the plant floor is operating at its optimal level, which is accomplished by having the QDM web clients and the monitoring and the email alert capabilities to, uh, to very quickly um, respond to, to issues. But there is also a need for eliminating any chronic issues, which, are, which could be bigger, process, bigger improvements in quality that can eliminate future, uh, proactively eliminate future quality problems. This can be done by process improvements, like we highlighted in the QDM PDA tool to understand correlations between tool changes and trying to change processes, but also be sent back to the design department so the design department can optimize their, uh, their design to, to eliminate these, these uh, 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 manufacturing problems. So the tool, uh, we also have another suite called 3DCS, which is um, very powerful in design, variation, simulation, analysis, and the QDM PDA tools and the QDM web tools are directly connected to the 3DCS or any type of design analysis tool. So they can take advantage of their shop floor capability and shop floor problems and directly feed that to the 
to the 3D CS and the uh, design engineering tools. So the design engineering tools now can use shop floor data for optimization. Fantastic. Thank you, Tiku. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Well, it looks like we're at 51 minutes after the hour. So we're out of time for today. Um, we have one or two other side questions that uh, I'm going to respond to by email. I really appreciate it. Uh, at this time, I just want to remind you again that we did record today's session, and I'll be sending that recording out tomorrow with a follow-up email. I'm going to include some links in that email that dive a little bit deeper into some of our, some of our products, uh, for example, some of the different specific tools that Tagu mentioned, as well as, more importantly, the link to our previous webinar on our inspection lab level. For those who want to start, you know, with just a basic, um, with a, some basic tools at a small level before going as large as a plant solution. I want to thank everyone again for joining us today. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day.